Hey, what's going on, Adalo community? It's Mario Flawless with Templar Design. Today's request comes from Gary. He's asking about uh, sending a verification code to the users to, to verify their emails when they sign up. I suppose that Integromat was rebranded to make and the documentation is not updated. So I'm gonna show you how to do this using Adalo, Abracadalo, and SendGrid. Let's jump right in. This is an app I'm working on called Propa. And it doesn't really matter to me that. I'm just going to show you exactly how we do this. All right. So first, what you want to do is you want to go to abracadalo.com and sign up. Now, this API that we're going to be using does require the apprentice account. So it's $8.00. Uh, well, $96 a year or $10.66 per month. You will need this to be able to send the emails and you will also need an account with SendGrid. Okay, so go to SendGrid, create your account. You can start this one for free. You can send up to 100 emails a day for free with SendGrid. And Abracadalo, you'll have to pay for the monthly in order to get this to work. But let me explain why. All right, I'll show you every bit in detail. I'm logging in okay all right so first let's start here on my form here where I have the sign up action you see I have a sign up action and it links okay so first thing you want to do is go into your database go to your users and you're gonna want to add four parameters in order to make this work really well Okay, so we're going to add a true false parameter called onboarding complete, a true false parameter called email verified, a verification code number parameter, and a date and time parameter called verification timestamp. All right, those are the four you're going to need for this process. When the user signs up, they're only going to sign up using the email and the password for now. So when the user first signs up, we're going to pre fill this uh, the email with the reveal password email onboarding complete to false email verified to false and for the verification code we're gonna put a rand function a random function here so you go to functions rand and then we're gonna insert one 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 comma nine 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 and close the bracket okay this is gonna generate a four digit number between 1111 and 9999 and it will link it to the user's account. We're gonna put a current timestamp right here for the current time. We're gonna use the user's password to fill in the password. And since I'm not using usernames, I'm just gonna put their email as the username just to fill that field. Now, when the user links to the splash, I do that for linking the app version. So since the user's just first signing up, you won't need to worry about any of these actions. Uh, you can just link straight to the onboarding screen if you'd like. But with this countdown, if the user's onboarding is set to false, it links them to the onboarding screens. If it's true, but their email is not verified, I send them to the verification code screen and we'll get to that. If there's an app update available, I send them to the app update screen. And if all of those match, they're gonna be sent to the home screen if they're all good. So email verified is true, so that means they've already passed all of those to get to the home screen. So don't worry about those, we're gonna worry about this one, okay? So as soon as the user signs up, they get sent here, updates them with the current app version, links to the onboarding screen. Okay, now on this onboarding screen, this is where I actually have the action to send the email. I think it's helpful because I, I like to collect their first name and last name before sending them an email. And unfortunately, the no code monkey component for the, the reveal password doesn't allow for adding additional fields apart from the email and password. So that's why I send them here. I get their first name and their last name. And as soon as I do that, I update the user with their I put a verification timestamp as the current time. I guess I didn't need it on that first form, 
because I put it here since this is where I'm actually going to send the email. Okay, so I've got the verification, verification timestamp. I updated their first name, last name, and the full name, the first name and last name in the perspective fields. Now, since this is ProPa Abracadabra verification email, here's how you're going to set it up. Okay, sign into your SendGrid account, and you're going to want to grab your API key. Okay, so you see I already have mine set up here. All right, so we're going to grab, you're going to create a new API key. Okay, save that somewhere once you create it. I already have mine. Now, go into your Abracadalo dashboard and click on settings. In the settings, you're going to want to enter smtp.sendgrid.net port 587, username API, username API key, and the password is the full API key. Click save. And you can test the connection to make sure it works. You'll see here. Okay, cool. So you see, it works. All right. Next thing you want to do is set up an email template. All right. So click to create an email template. So this is the template I already have set up here. And you see there's two variables. All right. I'm going to click edit. You'll see right here I have my header image. Right here's the name of the email verification. The template has an image. Thank you for registering your free account. Here is the code. And then now you have to use these brackets here on each side. All right. These are going to be your variables that you're going to use as query parameters to send the code to the email. I also put year down here for the copyright. This is what the email is going to look like. This is why I like using Abracadalo. Really beautiful, easy to use templates. Okay. Really simple. You can add images, whatever. Okay, so I have two variables. Once you click save, you're gonna have this template ID. You're gonna need this also, okay? Create your custom action. Put a name for it, I call this ProPopPP Abracadalo Verification Email. Type is create. Put your API base URL. You can grab this from the documentation on Abracadalo's site here so if you go to notifications api you can grab your base url here for the send all right now we're going to need the medium to be email put your api key here in the header api dash key and then paste the value in here medium this is going to be email two this is going to be the email address of the new logged in user so you want to put a magic text for email for that one the subject, ProPaw verification code, you can just type in the subject there. Template ID, this is where you're going to paste the template ID from Abracadalo. So this template ID goes in here. The sender email, you can put the sender email in here. Sender name. This is the code query parameter from the template. Remember, we have code as a variable and year as a variable. So for here, I put the verification code as a number. And the year, as a text. So once you click run test, okay, so what we'll do is we'll just add the logged in user's email to be the sender, logged in user's verification code right there and the for this one for the year we're going to do date and time current time but we're going to switch this to the year number this is for the copyright footer of the email and then we're going to link to onboarding too the reason why i like to send them to the onboarding screens instead of straight to the verification code screen is because it could take you know somewhere between 10 seconds to a couple of minutes for the user to receive the verification code. So I send them the verification code here. I walk them through onboarding two, three, and then four. So by the time they finish with screen four, they should hopefully have received the verification code in their email. So once they click this last icon on the onboarding screen, we're gonna update the user and mark onboarding complete as true. Okay, 
The reason we do that is because we don't want them to have to go through the onboarding screens again. So let's say for whatever reason they decide to close the app and then reopen the app sometime later. This countdown that I had here will know that they completed the onboarding but their email is not yet verified. So we have their name because onboarding is complete. So this it will it will update the user with the current app. Skip this one because it's true. And then for the for them to send to this create account to screen is the verification. So if email verified is false, they come here. Onboarding is true and email verified is false. They come to the onboarding or the uh, verification screen. So on the verification screen, I have an input code input one. I guess it could just be code input. It doesn't really matter what the name of this is. It's just, it's just an input. A verified button and then a couple of other things here. First thing we want to do is set up the verification button to only display. So I have my, my gradient rectangle. That's how I do my gradient backgrounds for buttons. I set the visibility of the button to sometimes visible if logged in user verification code is equal to the code input. So that means that this button will only be visible when the verification, the correct verification code has been entered into this input. So if the input was entered correctly, this button will update the user with email verified as true. That's how we know that the email is now verified. And then we send them to the home screen and that completes the onboarding process. Now let's, let's hypothetically say they didn't receive the email code. Okay. So I have this where it says code sent and I only have this visible if the logged in user verification timestamp is after five minutes ago. So that means between now and five minutes ago, if they registered, they'll see this message. Now, if it's before five minutes ago, so longer than five minutes, if more than five minutes have passed since the user has requested their verification code, I put these options here. So this group of options is sometimes visible if logged in user verification timestamp is before five minutes ago. So if it's six minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, it doesn't matter. They're able to see this information and that this text field is hidden. But if we see this, we're going to do basically the same thing here that we did on the first one. We're going to send the verification email a second time and then we have to update the current timestamp here. So we know that the, the five minute timer basically just resets if they resend the code. So this, these four would be hidden again and then they would see this message and the code would send a second time. And then this last button here, we want to set it to delete the logged in user. Log them out. And then link to the sign up screen. And that's how you do it. That's how you add a verification code to verify your users email addresses before they have access to your app. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to reach out to us via our website at www.templar.design.